Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Human Bahrami and today we're going to create a kind of abstract volume portrait using Epistorm Render. It actually allows us to give some random patterns and create this cool effect. Okay, let's get started. Uh, what I just did was using a head mesh and I found this model from Sketchfab. It's a head of Arnold. It's really cool. And I just give a kind of UV map. Be sure to add a UVW map if your mesh doesn't have any UVs. And then I just add a FS Storm volume modifier to the mesh. Uh, there it is. And here's the parameters here. And there's a density map, which I will show you what I did. So I just created a basic lighting setup. Just one from this angle and I just boosted up the power and just add another one from the back from for the back of the head and I just give it a little bit of bluish color and a less power intensity and if I open up my material editor uh, you have to make sure add a FS Storm volume material and it's just just somewhere here, it's just here. Uh, oh, okay. And just make sure to give this, assign it to your mesh. And if I double click on that, I have, this is the parameters. And one of the important part of this is the distance. So uh, when you just decrease this close to zero, you will have higher dense. And when you just increase that, you will have more kind of low opacity mesh, which we don't want. So we want to have a kind of more dense mesh. So we assign this to a head and we have this FS Storm volume modifier on it. Okay, now if you go to render setting, and I usually for my tests use 300 samples. And in interactive render, I enable the slow, enable the real time geometry uplate, and I use the run mode. Okay, you can see we have our mesh, and actually it's just volume right now, and it's just looking okay. Now I open up my material editor. And what I do, I'm just gonna use a noise map from FS Storm. Be sure to make sure it's own noise map. It might not work using other renders noise map. And we just have it here. There we go. If I just assign this to my FS Storm volume density map, just drag it here, use it as an instance. We instantly get this result, which is kind of cool. Now if you just play with the settings, maybe decrease the size, maybe use uh, turbulence, you can see the result in real time and you can get some cool effects. So I just created some bunch of Notes here, if you want to cut through your mesh, just like this picture I rendered previously, uh, this FS Storm distance make that happen. So what I do, I just create a kind of sphere, just like so, tell the node to just do that effect when the inside of the mesh, okay? So when the my sphere is here, just make that happen inside of mesh. So it just can be done using FS Storm distance. Uh, I'm just gonna right click object properties. I just don't want to be rendered and I wanna display it as box, hit okay. So it just doesn't render. We just wanna use that to drive our uh, noise inside of that mesh. So I'm gonna double click on that and I'm gonna hit click add and select my sphere. So it just added right here. Now, after that, I'm gonna select my head mesh, go into modifier, and just drag my last FS Storm distance to the density map. So now if I just hit my render again, 
you can see we get this kind of cool effect. So let me just scale this down a bit. Now, if I just move my sphere, you can see actually it just happens where the uh, my mesh interact in, intersect with the head. So if I just go into the a storm distance, I can just uncheck my double side and it just the second part is just gone and it just kind of looks like a cut match and just just make it more it just looks like this and if you want to have this other side i can just enable the double double side so which kind of can create these cool effects so if you want to make it a little bit cooler i just added created a f storm point light uh, which is called sphere light and i just put it where the cut is going on. I wanted to give it a kind of reddish color. And as you can see, we have the effects going on. You can just play with the settings. I'm just going to select my uh, mesh. Here's my density map. I use the FS storm noise and drag it to the density map and here is another result I get and maybe another one I just used with FS storm gradient here's my setting I used I played with tiling and I actually added a FS storm color correction to give it a little bit more of contrast between white and black and if I just drag it and give it to density again let's see the result just looks like this she's pretty cool you can also I just did something else if I just want to show you there are just tons of possibility to create different looks it's just kind of like look like a uh, burned melted mesh uh, it's a little bit creepy <laughs> but it's kind of cool okay uh, i hope you found this video helpful and be sure to thumbs up and hit the subscribe button it really helps me to make more videos and thank you for watching and i will see you again